My passion for dancing started since 2005. I have seen uh, local breakers doing it on the TV, and it was for a commercial called Break. And it was so interesting that these people had like superpowers. In 2008, somehow I found uh, this youth center. So I went there, I met uh, like local breakers and b-boys, and it seemed like these people are not from this planet. Our schooling system in my country is not the most favorable, so I took a big step forward and I quit the college. I was like putting all my belief and all my vision into this art form that I'd chosen. One of the most major things for me was to go out from Tunisia is like to experience what is real life to be. In my country, in your government, you have never been giving value or treated as a normal person. If uh, you are in the street dancing, any government person will come to you and be like, are you delinquent? What are you doing in the street? You don't have freedom. If you say anything, you will be treated badly and humiliated. But in Europe, we see all the street shows. We see how people, actually normal people, are being treated as normal people. This is what we all needed, just to be normal, just to have a life and just to live and do what we love. We went to Estonia, it was such a, sh a cultural shock because dance studios were there having a really good uh, structure and they were like professional and people actually gave worth to what they did. And for me, I was like, wow, teaching here would be such a good, good opportunity and free flow became a big part of my life because one of the things is that I found a place to be and a place where I can share my passion and feel that everything that I have done in the past was meaningful and had a reason. Breaking, what I love about it, doesn't have a time or a place, or actually it doesn't have a schedule. It's like a carving. You always want to dance, you always want to experience, the. you want to always improve your movements. You always come to the studio, even if you don't have any energy, you will still want to put that break beat and just move your body. And like that jam in the end or in the session from the beginning, and that exchange and each one teach one doesn't act like a class or that I am teaching and go home. Can you give me the salt? I'm trying to be useful too. Yeah. Voilà. We are the closest to Italians because we have the same hand gestures. We use like, oh, like tomato, pizza, la farina, tomato, pizza, pizza. And we start like talking all with hands and doing all this stuff. Oh, Marcio, you know, mm -hmm. he, he showed my friend how to do this uh, air flare with two freezers in, in, in the backstage. Like he was like his crewmate. Mm -hmm. it, imagine like your crewmate showing you uh, how to do one freeze like to your face and then when my friend didn't do it correctly he yells like not yes, ah, no he yells let's go come on one more time one more time and he put so much energy. Of course my friend didn't do this air flare but he felt so so motivated because there is somebody who paid attention to you. I thought it will be much more spicy. No I made it so uh, very less spicy so everybody can eat it. Thank you, boy. <laughs> Thanks, you, baby boy. Thanks, you, baby. But don't forget to eat it with bread. Mm. Bro, this is me. This is me, and this is where first time the battle. Oh, check this. <laughs> your crewmates, like. Yeah, like what the fuck? I had like this is my first uh, two on two battle. It's already started. Yeah, I made one year of practice. 
you know, to improve myself from that state to here, this state. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had so much hatred for each other. This was the first international battle in France against melting force. Mm -hmm. And I was very injured here, but I still like tried. As in my country, they see Europe as a paradise island. But actually it is not. When you go to any European country, you're gonna have more struggles. You, the life in Europe is harder. People will look down on you. Some people will not give you the help. So you will find out that it's not actually the most favorable place to come and live because the government will not treat you as a resident. It will treat you as an immigrant. When I uh, came to Estonia, the real work started because the opportunity was bigger and the events and the exchanges were just in front of me. Coming here gave me the opportunity of stability.